All right, boys, let's go ahead and get started with those new crystal beasts. So we got the Zenith Dragon, which we're gonna go ahead and instantly place down because we've already got a carbuncle in our hand. So we're gonna go ahead and place the, oh, we don't wanna place the carbuncle from hand. I wanna place this from the deck. I'm gonna go ahead and slam that card over there. And uh, this is Rainbow Dragon, the Zenith Crystal Beast that came out a while ago. And I did promise you guys some gameplay, so I'm gonna deliver for you guys, but I will admit, Crystal Beast, are not that great. Um, they still have a lot of problems. The, the only good crystal beasts are pretty much Pegasus and Carbuncle. The rest of the new stuff just doesn't doesn't add up to make the deck uh, viable at all. But we happen to have the crystal beast Sapphire Pegasus again, and uh, that allows us to instantly just go straight into uh, a play where we get to go Carbuncle, summon this, and then we're swarmed with the board. Uh, so it looks like we're playing against the. Um, Senkas, so he's gonna go ahead and activate the uh, legend over here. So this one control two more you can declare an attribute uh, your opponent currently controls. Okay, so he has to have two two uh, As long as there's not one where you can just special summon it Half that monster's attack and add the loss Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and boost himself up and uh, we're gonna lose out on our Pegasus But it doesn't really matter at the end of the day not at all And then uh, Uh, what does this card do? Uh, Ad oh, wait, Adonis. It says Senka Adonis? Which one is Senka Adonis? Oh, whatever. What does it even do? Oh, it just sends it to the graveyard. Oh, it adds a Senka Spell Trap. Okay. All right, I'm probably not gonna be, uh, let's, let's, let's see what we can get with a rare value. Uh, let's see what we can get off this rare value. It's basically like a pot of greed in the deck, and then we can kind of play it from there. Does he have any negation? What is this? Oh, he, he just has to select the card, okay. He's probably reading this card because no one knows what this does because no one plays against us. Don't worry, it's really not that good. So he's gonna go ahead and select. Ooh, we get that. Ooh, I've got over the rainbow over here. But at the end of the day, our play just basically becomes summon Pegasus. I hope. All right. So uh, yeah, it's, well, yes. Well, yes. There's nothing else we can really do. So we're gonna go ahead and go for this and then uh, place this from the deck over here. And eventually, hopefully, we'll get this playoff. So we're gonna go ahead and now activate this. Duality into, oh, definitely want this. Although he's probably gonna get rid of this because they actually have pretty decent back row disruption. So we'll go ahead and attempt to get over this card. Okay, good. I was actually kind of afraid that he'd be able to run over that. But since we also happen to have the Ash Blossom, we should be okay. This deck, by the way, guys, is not that great either. I've seen it a few different times. Um, it's just way too slow. It doesn't have, like, negate 50 different times. So basically, it's not a very good deck. Uh, it doesn't really have, like, a strong turn one opener. Um, it, it, it can kind of play a little bit aggressive. But look at the effects of this. Uh, like, for example, you target a face-up uh, monster your opponent controls and a Senka monster you control. Like, it, absorbing is just not that great because you're never going to get that monster out. You're not going to be able to activate those effects. So now he's going to go ahead and uh, go for that. In fact, oh, so you can go special summon that. And then if your opponent controls more monsters than you, you can target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. And then three visit is activating. Uh, okay, so he just wants to add another monster from his deck to his hand. Okay, that effect we should probably not let go off. So we're not going to let him do that because a lot of the Senkas require multiple monsters. It almost reminds me of uh, like a, a six samurai um, mechanic, <clears throat> but uh, if he attacks over this, he basically loses. Unless there's some type of bounce uh, effect over here. But yeah, the, the three visit, I guess, is like one of their best cards. Um, that's for sure. And if this card goes away, he gets to special summon something. Okay, so it goes away during the second standby phase, and I believe it'll be the next turn. Uh, okay, so now he's someone just losing. Okay, and uh, he's gonna go ahead and pop the Crystal Beast. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and convert. And he's going to go ahead and re-add the Sun Liu Alliance over here. Oh, they're going to gain 300 attack. Okay. Not that big of a deal. And I think he already activated that effect this turn. So I think he's really just trying to search out like that one specific card. But uh, if he attacks over this, this is a bad idea, mate. 
So bad ideas. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then more importantly, activating this card's effect, which basically gives us like a win condition. So if we go ahead and send all of the Crystal Beasts pretty much from our deck to the grave, and uh, we get a huge effect over here. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we select uh, just a variety here. Uh, did I select Carbuncle? Oh wait, uh, not, okay, we want from the deck. So I don't have to go minus with any of these plays. I think it's what, one more? Okay, Cobalt Eagle. And we play like one of each of them, and now we summon this, and this card just completely destroys the game. As a quick effect, I can just shuffle everything right back into the deck. It's got 4k attack. It's quite nice. It's quite nice indeed. And then pretty much you over the rainbow them, and then it'll be game over, unless he goes ahead and gets rid of this card right now. So we're gonna go ahead and spam the boar. We're gonna get all of our monsters out of the grave. The only important one to really have in there is Carbuncle. Uh, we're not gonna activate this right now. We wanna go ahead and uh, activate uh, this card's effect. Oh heck, we can go ahead and summon the rainbow dragon too. Oh dude, this is nasty. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this effect where we return everything, but we're gonna go ahead and special summon everything as well. So we're gonna go ahead and activate this effect. Shuffle all cards on the field into the deck. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, no problem. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and special summon this. I don't really know what, if there's any like chainable cards that he has uh, as far as access to, to them. So now we've got this card out over here and uh, he's got a pretty good effect. Uh, we're gonna have, oh, oh, you know what? We should have done the, uh, where is it? And it gains attack equal to the banished one. Okay, what can we actually go for? We can go ahead and just go for another one of these. Okay, let's go ahead and just convert this right back into another one. All right. And then we have this effect to activate. So we can go ahead and banish a uh, Crystal Beast monster, which I guess we can technically banish the new one over here. And then it just gains attack equal to the banishment. Dude, that, that's pretty ridiculous. We're about to OTK this guy with that. Um, dude, we, we're about to <laughs> smack him with the cat for game. So the boost up with this card was quite nice. And he just went ahead and surrendered over there. So um, this card's quite great for being able just to summon it instantly. Uh, I kind of want to talk a little bit about the deck now that you guys can kind of get the idea. I was really hoping we could do Rainbow Dragon because I thought that this card would count uh, as the effect, but it has to be, I guess, this card. So I, I don't think I'd play this. I was only playing one, to be honest. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show off and talk about the, the Crystal Beast deck now that you guys have seen it in action. So... Honestly, I was trying out this deck for a while, and I, it took me a while to get a, an actual W. Um, and also, I kind of wanted to see what the Senkas did, uh, because that was an archetype that I'm definitely newer to. But I don't feel like this deck has really that much potential. So, what you can do is, if they attack, you can go ahead, and, or if a Crystal Beast attacks, or is attacked, you can just go ahead and summon the Xanath Crystal Beast. And this card has 3,000 attack. And then you can banish this uh, continuous spell to summon a low 4 lower Crystal Beast, but it negates its effect. And then you could add another ultimate crystal monster. So getting out Rainbow Dragon is actually quite easy with the new effect. And you can convert Rainbow Dragon right back into a ultimate crystal god. So let's you go ahead and summon crystal god once off of this. Or you can go ahead and summon this after you shuffle everything that your opponent has. And uh, it's a really good effect. Uh, but how realistic is it? Not very, I'll be honest. And I was thinking originally, uh, with this deck, by the way, I would not play Magical Mallet or Reload. Uh, it's just because I want consistency to try to show you guys some of the newer cards, which all it comes down to is Rainbow Dragon and the Zenith Crystal Beast. And I don't think the deck is actually good enough uh, to, to be competitive at all. This card is absolutely amazing, being able to like set up with your Pegasuses and uh, throw in Carbuncle or your Zenith. But at the end of the day, the problem that I have with this deck is it doesn't have it doesn't have like any disruption. All it can do is summon Crystal Beast. Like your best play is summon Pegasus Pass, wait for your opponent attack, and then your board becomes this and this, and you just hope you don't get OTK'd, and then you hope eventually you draw into this card to summon this. This card lets you bounce everything back, and I was thinking, oh, this would be really easy, I can activate this card's effect, and then instantly go for over the rainbow, but it doesn't actually work like that, so I'd probably cut this card completely out because of that. You'd have to activate this effect where um, you send all face of Crystal Beast monsters you control to the graveyard, and it gains uh, extra attack. So, what I, would, I, what I would need to do, and I guess I technically could do it, I just... I summoned the, the Amethyst Cat because I wanted disrespect for game, but it does allow your Rainbow Dragon like to get up to almost enough. Honestly, 
if this card had 1,000 more attack, it would be so much better. Because that means that I can go right into God Rainbow over Dragon, go back, uh, and then if I summon a Rainbow Dragon, to go back into this, and then banish the Rainbow Dragon, right? Uh, and then I'd have 8,000, and then they, they've lost. It shuffles everything uh, on the field into the deck, therefore I can make it game. But with this card, it's just short a little bit. So I guess what I could do is if I summon Rainbow Dragon, then have another monster or another Crystal Beast, which I guess uh, I could place over here with Crystal Bonds or something. I just didn't have it. And I, I feel like the, um, the, there's the, over the Rainbow, uh, uh, Rainbow Refraction. If I, if, if, if I did have this card, yeah, I'd have to have another Crystal Beast because it requires you to, where is it? Um, it just has to activate its effect. So I didn't have the ability to go for it. Um, because it says this card cannot activate the following effects the turn it was summoned. So, that's really unfortunate. But that quick effect, uh, being able to boost up things, I just don't think it's that great because you have to wait. And that's the problem. But if you're able to get this out, I guess, during your opponent's turn somehow, if there's a way to do it, someone let me know. But I just feel like this deck still has a lot of problems. But then you could maybe do the Rainbow Refraction. Um, but, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll play this. Wait, oh, wait, hold on. This Wait, hold on. I would actually play triple of these. This card is ridiculous. I didn't even read it. Um, so it adds one crystal spell and trap. So that would be crystal bonds. Okay, I, okay. Let's fix this deck right now. Uh, so the other card we're dropping at 100%. As far as the other crystal beast cards, uh, I'm just playing like... Because this card requires uh, different names, I'm playing like just one of each of like, the trash ones. And honestly, Magical Mallet at that point wouldn't be that bad. I probably would be 100% adding this because this lets you add Crystal Bonds, which is like the best card. It doesn't even let you add Rare Fat. Like so many of the cards, like they don't have, they lack synergy. Wait, is that Crystal? It's a... Uh... Okay, this allows you to add this. Okay, this would actually make the deck much more consistent. I didn't actually see this card because, well, it was the last time I checked Crystal Beast. I'll be honest, it's been a while. Um, so the whole goal of the deck, and like I said, I probably would drop these because again, these are at the end of the day, minus ones, but the deck just has a problem with dealing with certain things. And if you want to run Nibiru evenly, those could be great options as well. But again, you're winning not because of Crystal Beast, you're winning because of those other cards. But the deck can definitely OTK quite easy. All it requires you to do is go Pegasus, throw this in the back row, and then uh, if you activate this, throw the, um, you throw either Carbuncle or this card. And then if you have Pegasus, Let's say they don't OTK you next turn, you go Carbuncle and this card, and then whatever you have with your normal summon. Maybe you can try to push for game, but they, they just lack a lot, honestly. Anyways, I'm just going to go over the deck profile, but I just wanted to mention this deck still has problems even with the Zenith. If it had, again, 1,000 more attack, the play that I showed you guys would be a thousand times better because it literally becomes game versus requiring you to summon this card, activating the effect of, uh, of getting rid of everything with this, then going back into a rainbow dragon to then make this card and then you have to banish this card which is not that big of a deal um to make it game but i just think that this card should have had some extra defense points it is a dragon maybe there are some other better ways to play crystal piece but anyways i'm gonna go over the deck profile really quick um i actually have some other you know i actually have one quick uh i think it was this one over here uh where this guy I think, okay, this one, I had game at one point. And also, I was trying out Call of the Haunted because surprisingly, you can go for a lot of the targets with Call of the Haunted. Specifically, uh, going for Carbuncle and your Pegasus is so huge. So this guy goes ahead. I, I, I haven't seen Armor Majors in a while, but he goes for the Link Karibo and then Jasmine Pass. And he actually has a pretty good setup with one of the, uh, the plays here, which I haven't seen before. So unfortunately, he has Impermanence here. And my thought process... Uh, was I'm gonna crash it, put it in the background rare value, but I'm like, okay, I can put it in the grave right now, guaranteed, um, and then try to react next turn. I guess I could have waited uh, for that, but I don't know. I, I think that I didn't need to actually crash this, but anyways, he goes Boral Sword Pass, which I think is kind of a meh play, but nonetheless, end phase, we're gonna go ahead and bring back the Pegasus. Pegasus is gonna be getting that effect. I don't know why he moved to defense mode, because it doesn't really matter, it's end phase. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it into attack position, disrespect. We're gonna go ahead and summon the Rainbow Dragon. I didn't play any links, uh, otherwise we would have access to Crystal Promise, bringing back Carbuncle, which won't have any other cards to summon. But at the end of the day, we could have made something to deal with this. 
uh, which would have been an okay option. I just didn't really want to play Lynx. I'm also playing Extravagant, so I don't have access to a perfect like Link extra deck. So you get a decent amount of attack, but we're going to go and summon this. We'll go for Castell, he moves to defense mode. Um, Chidori and Castell, I think, are great cards. So we're going to go and summon another one of these. And this is where I was super disappointed, because I'm like, I can go ahead and OTK him now. So here's how I would have OTK'd him. So we would have went ahead and went for Pegasus, and uh, then we would have went ahead and special summon, or put the uh, the new Zenith in the back row, and then Carbuncle would let us go off, and then if we wanted to, uh, we can go ahead and special summon a bunch of other monsters. Also could have went for Abundance over here, uh, put that in the back row, and then Abundance him, depending on what he hit, um, we would play around that and see what we can do. And then on top of that, um, once I place this one over here, I'd have three so I could stop any spell trap uh, and then I just feel like this card was too slow Okay, now that I've kind of briefly mentioned uh, like another duel here some of the other cards I was trying I was try I tried running the other uh, pendulums to try to protect the boss monsters But like dude if you even get the boss monster you're good enough these cards end up becoming pretty much bricks uh, Most of the cards in this deck like as good as crystal abundance is good luck trying to actually place four crystal beasts in the back row Before your opponent just goes ahead and just destroys you or negates every single thing that you do But here's what I was playing anyways triple rainbow dragon and triple copies of the Zenith. Honestly, you probably don't need three copies of this card. And then we played uh, three copies of... Wait, hold on. Let's, let's fix this. Like I said, a lot of times for gameplay footage, I just try to have consistency to show you guys the new cards. So honestly, you could probably play like maybe one Rainbow Dragon, if that. Um, but this could be a little bit better uh, for the deck. But maybe maybe one Rainbow Dragon, three copies of the uh, Zenith. But this card makes it so easy to get out. And because that card's searchable, oh wait, where's that rainbow? Hold on, wait, I guess we didn't save. So this card, automatically play triple this card, 100%. This lets you add crystal bonds, right? It's any crystal. So that would make the deck much more consistent here. And then I guess you can consistently put two cards. I still wouldn't play the, the, the field spell. While the field spell is great uh, for that effect of uh, being able to get a smaller trap. And then if you have four, you're going to get an additional draw. And then five once per turn, you get to target a crystal beast. You're, you're not going to do that. You're, I could sit here and get game plan and show you guys that I can potentially get all that back row. But it requires me to play against uh, a player that might be playing like, uh, you know, a, a, a very, a very like mediocre deck. Like he'd have to be playing crawlers and setting cards for 10 turns, not doing anything in order for me to actually get that off. If you're playing against Sky Striker Orcs, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. But uh, anyways, I'm playing triple copies of Pegasus and like one copy of all the Trash Crystal Beasts. Uh, and then we got three copies of Carbuncle, three copies of Ash, three copies of Ghost Ogre. Honestly, I liked this because that made it so like if I went Pegasus summon this, uh, it made it so I, I wouldn't get OTK'd, and then the following turn, I could activate Crystal Promise or something like that. Kind of help out. Crystal Bond's excellent. You just go ahead and add Pegasus, and then go ahead and put uh, this or Carbuncle in the back row. We have three copies of the Indulgence, three copies of Rare Value, uh, one copy of, of the Rainbow, which I'm actually removing here because it's just, it doesn't, you can't activate it at the same turn. Like, that's terrible. And then we had three copies of the Ultimate Crystal for, uh, Magic. Oh, okay, that's what it's called Ultimate Crystal Magic. Um, this card, if your opponent probably won't read this, but if you activate this, you you absolutely destroy them. And then on top of that, it says that you can banish this card from your graveyard to place at any number of Crystal Beast monsters at, uh, from your graveyard face up in your spell and trap zones as continuous spells. So after you go ahead and go for this play, if I activate this card and banish it, place all the cards I just threw in the graveyard, literally it just comes down to activating uh, Carbuncle uh, with your effect of your Crystal Promise, and then you special summon Carbuncle, and then all the monsters you get, you just spam the bar with them, and then you just win the game. And then three copies of Duality, because this deck doesn't start off with the OTK, it usually sets up, and then the next turn you win. I honestly feel like this card was necessary because I have to have this if you don't have to have Pegasus turn one or like you need like Pegasus in this turn one and this Like it just requires a lot of stuff and while there are a lot of cards that can search out certain things and place them in the back row It just helps out and I really do like it I'm gonna play the three of that indulgence also just so I can go ahead and uh, have as much access to Specifically that setup as possible and then like I said rainbow bridge will make the deck a lot more consistent and probably much better For the extra deck, nothing really matters other than like Castell, Chidori are great um, And then I just threw in a bunch of cards honestly uh, None of them which matter too much except for uh, three copies of the ultimate crystal god because that's your main win condition Even with the new stuff, but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed seeing the crystal beast Yo drop a like on this video because it took me a while to get this gameplay I'm not gonna lie. I have I have other gameplay But I wanted to show off the Senkas too because it was kind of a newer duel anyways But uh, yeah new crystal beast zenith still unfortunately doesn't make them great But you guys can let me know your thoughts down below if you feel like you guys can make them great And uh, feel free to send me in some replays would love to see that uh a good crystal beast deck, but I don't think it's possible. You'll prove me wrong. But anyways, if you're new here, 
Hit subscribe, turn on the bell so you don't miss out on new Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Regardless of how bad a deck is, I'll give you guys that delivering content. But thanks for tuning in, have a good one, and I'm out. Peace.